So let's start the story off. Um, a couple of weeks ago, our dog Queenie died, and uh, yeah, she was loved by the whole family. So we were kind of just sitting around a little bit, bit moping, you know. And photography wasn't really much on my mind, but uh, that changed a few days ago when um, I had a lovely chat with Simon Byrne of Simon Byrne Creative. And he suggested we do a challenge. So that's where I'm going to take the story up. And uh, yeah, then you can see how it cheered us up and, and where it goes from here. I hope you enjoy the film. Hey Ian, I hear you like landscape photography over there in Sweden. So how about a challenge? Something that takes us outside of our comfort zones. Abstract macro photography in the landscape. That should do it. So off you go and have fun. I look forward to seeing what you come back with. So as I just mentioned, uh, Simon Byrne and I had a good conversation the other day. Always great to meet new people and uh, exchange ideas and, you know, just uh, speak to like-minded people. Um, anyway, unbeknown to him, we'd had that sort of little tragedy a couple of weeks ago and uh, it was a great time to, to speak. So the challenge we agreed on was uh, macro abstract, which, um, which is great because I, I don't really do macro and uh, abstracted a little bit, but... Um, yeah, so it's going to be cool to get outside and see what see what happens. Um, so I'm going to go out with my Olympus, um, my Olympus OMD M1 Mark II. I've got the uh, 300 millimeter Zuko Pro lens here, which is 600 mil on a on a full frame. Um, but I've also got the uh, 30 mil macro. I'm taking both with me. Either way, I'm going to be fulfilling my um, Obligations to the challenge, which is macro. Macro is getting close and tight in. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the 30, uh, although the, the 300 is on it right now. Um, but because of the fantastic image stabilization, I can do everything handheld. And um, I'm hoping to get some good pictures. So um, without waffling on into any more detail, I'm going to take the, the challenge right up. And uh, thanks, Simon, again. And, and Go to Vik, which is a little village next door to us, and uh, very quickly uh, show you the uh, the area and um, talk you through what I find when I get there. Um, looking forward to it. I'm going to talk to you all a little bit later. See you over there. This is Vik, and I'm uh, looking for some spring flowers for. Uh, this macro abstract challenge. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, a super nice village. Tiny little lanes, houses with uh, thatched roofs. It's awesome. I've had a good wander around the, the village of Vik looking for just anything that really sort of stands out at me um, principally spring flowers I think it's the only thing that's uh, grabbing my imagination at the moment and uh, most of the gardens in, in Vik have some beautiful beautiful spring flowers and uh, having been in lots of people's gardens don't know if I should admit that but uh, sort of sneaking around a little bit um, I find this. I'm just going to show you. So this is a nice garden. But if you look down here, if I just zoom in right there, you can see that lovely little flower on its own. And what I'm doing is I'm getting in really tight and low to the ground so that the grass is blurred out and the, uh, the flower is more or less in perfect focus and it, it kind of just stands right out to me there. 
So I'm focusing in on that. I hope it works out. But I won't know until I get back home. But I'm going to keep plodding on and I'll keep you up to speed. But that is as simple as it comes and that's what I'm looking at. So I'm just going to finish this uh, this video up. Um, I haven't, at this point, when I'm talking to you, I haven't seen the picture, but I think it's going to be quite nice. Um, it falls into macro. It falls into abstract a little bit. Uh, but I hope you guys like it. Do let me know in the comments below what you think of... Uh, the picture and also the uh, the footage maybe because uh, that's just as important really um, but I, I'm just uh, I'm so happy that Simon and I spoke because um, it's been quite a sad time the last couple of weeks um, and the end of winter is usually optimistic and uh, well with the passing of my adorable family pet that is really uh, sorely missed. It, it was just nice to hear from a fellow photographer and someone as charming and as, as good at his job as, as he is. Um, so thank you again Simon. Um, and uh, you can give me marks out of 10 for my filmmaking. Um, and if you get to uh, 3 I'll be happy. <laughs> anyway, um, so um, yeah, I'm just going to round off. I'm not going to waffle on anymore. I'll leave you guys to judge the picture and uh, and just to say a final thank you to Simon Byrne of Simon Byrne Creative for the opportunity to collaborate with them and um, and I'm sure we'll do it again um, now we've made friends we'll stay in touch I'm looking forward to, to seeing your Simon uh, over to you bye for now <laughs>